One of the many challenges that we see when we're trying to get marketing and sales working together is what happens in the middle. You know, when we communicate these things from marketing to sales, and when do we do this from sales to marketing? You know, when we're working with our customers in sales enablement, um, of course, we do a lot of training on the sales side of things. We help them with the right tools. We help them with their processes. Okay, what happens when you get a lead? You know, what do you do next? And then when does it move from this team to that team? And we have seen in, in the past months that when there is a digital sales team, when there's a team in the middle that has, you know, some connection with marketing, so they are checking what's going on with the leads before they get to sales, and then they help them nurture them into sales, uh, that works a lot better. So one of the things we wanted to talk about in, in this, in this uh, video and in this blog is, is about that connection. So most of the time, marketing efforts create leads that are not ready to buy. Then we help our customers and, and through HubSpot and through inbound marketing to move those leads through the funnel so when they're ready to engage with sales, then the sales team can, can take on them and, and start working on it. But there's something in the middle. So when, when a lead becomes a marketing qualified lead, what we're doing now is we're sending those leads to the sales di di digital team. So the sales digital team, what it does is it takes those leads, starts calling them, nurturing them, you know, qualifying them, and making sure that those leads are actually ready to engage with sales. So these are people that are constantly calling, emailing, using the sequences uh, inside the HubSpot CRM to make sure that we're constantly engaging with them, using videos to engage with the with uh, with you know their leads, and using all these different tools to move them through the funnel. When they're ready, that's when they become sales qualified lead. And a sales qualified lead is something that the sales team directly works with them. And that's a different relationship. But we we are seeing that that digital sales team in the middle that has access to the the marketing side of things and uses the CRM and helps nurture that last step of the nurture process to actually make sure that that lead is as ready as possible. We have seen that that helps the sales team and the marketing team work together because we're nurturing leads from marketing and at the same time when it gets to sales, they're really ready to engage with a salesperson. Uh, and they've been in the process, we already know, know a lot of information uh, for, for different processes we can move them into the ABCs or into, you know, connect call, uh, exploratory call, depending on how your sales process works. And then also, uh, we are integrating, in, in the case that we're using the hubs of CRM, all this is integrated, the CRM is already integrated into marketing, but when, we, we're, when there's no integration, we're using the HubSpot CRM to do all that part, and then we're using Salesforce, for example, to do the other side. So if the sales team is working in Salesforce and the marketing team is working in HubSpot, we're using the CRM in the between, so the digital sales team uses this HubSpot CRM and all the HubSpot tools, and then when it becomes a sales qualified lead, it goes automatically into Salesforce, and then again, we're sending when something is closed as a customer from Salesforce, to HubSpot. So that digital sales team, that team in between is helping, you know, put these two teams and work together and create one team, the growth team for the company.